Hi, I'm Chili Flu, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a foam base. First, you're going to want to start with a reference of the character. Pay attention to shapes. This is going to be very important when you're cutting out the shapes for the foam. You'll need, of course, different thicknesses of foam, a hot glue gun, and hot glue sticks. Take a tape measure and measure around your forehead. For me, my measurement comes to 22 inches. Lay out the tape measure on your half inch thick foam and draw a line where your head measurement was, mine at 22 inches. Make it about three inches wide and then cut out and you'll have this piece. Do the same thing on the other side with another and do the 22 inches and make it about an inch thicker and here's your piece. Take your first piece and put a line of hot glue on the end. Attach the other end to the hot glue and hold and let dry. Your finished piece should look like this. Now take the thicker foam that you cut out, and this will be what keeps the ring around your head. We're kind of making a little cap here to sit on your head to start the very base of the foam. A mannequin head is good to use, though you should always measure using your own head for more exact measurements, but a mannequin head is a good placeholder. See the cap sits on like that, and then we have this top piece. Place it on top and estimate about how far across the foam goes from the start, the front of the cap to the back of the cap. For me, it stops here. Cut accordingly. And there's your piece. Next, put a line of hot glue on the end of your top piece of foam. attached to the front of the head base. And hold and let dry. Once it's dry, do the same thing to the other side. Make sure you get it as symmetrical as possible. Hold and let dry. Here's your finished cap. As you can see, it should sit comfortably on your head, not covering up your eyes. Next, take two inch thick foam, or whatever foam you prefer. Now we're gonna we're gonna draw a profile side of the character. Think of the character facing to their side. How would you draw the muzzle and the eyebrows? 
we're excluding the chin for this part. Using your mannequin head or even a trace out of your own face helps see how the muzzle will sit on the head. There's the trace out. Next, I'm drawing my profile view, starting with the forehead, with the eyebrow, the stop, and now the muzzle. Again, we're not including the chin in this step. Stop the muzzle about where your own mouth would be. This will make it easier for you to breathe and allow for ventilation. Next, cut out your piece. Now, of course, the muzzle isn't going to be this thin. Trace the muzzle again, but only to a little short circle. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> um, here, you see? Trace that part. The circle of the muzzle. And you're going to want to trace this on your foam, your two inch thick foam, two times. Cut out. There's your piece. Now take that piece again, put it on the foam, and trace. Cut out. So here's all your pieces so far. Each of these circular pieces will go on either side of the main center piece to make your muzzle thicker. Take your hot glue gun and put glue on each of the circle pieces. Take your center piece and lay it accordingly onto the circle piece. Hold and let dry. And then do the other piece. Hold and let dry. So here's the pieces all glued together. Take your head cap and now find where the muzzle piece is going to sit on the head cap. What matters most is where your eyes and mouth are, so find out where the alignment is. Then you'll tape glue once you've found the right spot and glue just the top of the forehead to the headpiece. Hold and let dry. Now for shape, you're going to take your sharpie and look at the top view of the muzzle because obviously it can't be a block like this. Draw in some curves 
and basically draw what you think the top muzzle, top view of the muzzle should look like. Keep in mind that at the base, the muzzle is going to attach, attach to the cheeks. Now, from top to bottom, cut out the silhouette from the top view of the muzzle. Doesn't that look much better? Now, take your two, two inch thick foam once again. And now, we're gonna draw the cheeks. The cheeks should be in a sort of teardrop shape. Cut. Here's your piece. Now you're going to take that piece and make another tracing. Because obviously, you have two cheeks. Take your sharpie and mark down the tracing. Cut out. And here's your two pieces. It's okay if everything's not symmetrical, because once you cut out and glue together, you're going to do a finishing touch and trim the foam and sculpt it to look how you want. Now place your cheek on the muzzle piece and see about where you think it should fit. Not too high, not too low, but kind of in the middle. Take your glue and glue down the piece onto the main piece. Hold and let dry. Now do the same to your other cheek piece. Adjust accordingly and hold and let dry. Here's what your head should look like so far. Here's how you shape your foam. Take your scissors and hold them at an angle to the edge. And sort of trim in a curved motion. This is how you round your edges. I should add that each head shape will vary. Your head should not look exactly like mine because it's not the same character. Look at all the shapes and pieces on the character's face and this will determine what your head, muzzle, cheek, eyebrows, chin should look like. Now we're gonna work on the eyebrows. Look at the profile view you took before as your first piece. Now take your two inch thick foam and draw what you think your eyebrow should look like. The start of the eyebrow should start from the middle of the head where your profile view of the eyebrow is. 
and then it should end at the top of the cheek and it should be in a curved shape. a lot of mistakes and alterations as you move on and see my eyebrow is a lot different than when I first cut it out because I trimmed it to make it fit on the head now take your sharpie and we're gonna trace the eyebrow again because we all have two eyebrows Cut out, and here's your two eyebrows. Position them on the head exactly where you want them. Try different positions to see what looks best. Now take your glue and hot glue the eyebrows onto the head. Hold and let dry, and here's what it should look like. Now trim them to make them look a little better, curve the shape so they're not just blocks. Take your sharpie, and now we're going to draw the smile, or in this case this character has a frown. Draw a line leading from a little under half of the cheek down to the bottom of the muzzle. Do the same on the other side and try to make it as symmetrical as you can. Now cut through your line and round your edges. For the chin, I'm going to use 3 inch thick foam. You can use whatever thickness you want or layer thinner foam together to create a thicker foam. This can be a lot easier to cut since thick foam can be pretty tricky to cut through. Now trace your muzzle onto the foam because we want our chin to line up with the muzzle. what your piece should look like. Next, cut out the chin. As you can see, I'm having some difficulty because it's thicker foam. As I said before, you may want to buy thinner foam and layer it up. It can be a lot easier on your hands. Here's your piece. And it's okay for your head to look very rough before you do the finishing trim. Right now, all we're worrying about is shape and form. I'm holding glue onto the head. Take your Sharpie. And now draw from a side view how you want your chin to look because obviously it's not going to stay a block like this, unless your character has a chin like that. Draw from the bottom of the cheek. And try to make it as symmetrical as possible on both sides. Cut along your lines. And your chin should look like this.
Now I'm sort of refining the chin, smoothing the edges, and making the shape look a little better. draw where we cut out the eyes. Now you're going to want to cut out where your eyes are and draw them in the shape that you want them to be and cut them all the way down to where your actual eyes would be. Also cut out the inside of the muzzle and the bottom of the jaw and round it so that it's easier to breathe. Now for the ears, take your half inch thick foam again. For me, I like to do one flat piece of the ear and curve it over so that it has a 3D effect. You can do the same effect using thicker foam and carving into the ear, but this is what I like to do because it's very easy. Now put it on the foam and trace again for two ears. Cut out. see about where you should position your ears. Closer to the front, closer to the back, and add a thin line of glue and place and hold where you desire. Hold and let dry. Now do the same with the other ear and try to make it as symmetrical as possible. a lot more like a fursuit head now, doesn't it? Now we're going to do the final trim, refining and smoothing the shapes, and adding features, such as, for this character, a cut ear. And here's the finished product with placeholder eyes. Thank you and good luck with making your own fursuit head. Thank you.